Hello, it's Simone from uh, FrapTools. Um, it's the first, this is the first uh, official overview of the Falistry. We released it this week. Um, we are at Martin Pass in Turin, Italy. Uh, so I, I will give you a, an overview of the, of the function, of what it, it is capable of. So um, we divide the interface in two big sections. The generator, the top area here, with the yellow and green section, and uh, the editor. Um, which is composed by three uh, other three sections that process uh, voltages. The first one is um, the gray area is a um, um, flip-flop array. So there are two flip-flop that can be used for uh, clock divider uh, or frequency divider, uh, like sub-octave generator, things like that. Uh, there is a four-quadrant multiplier in red with two, with two inputs which are normal to the um, like unipolar and bipolar section of the two generators. And there is uh, an integrator, a linear integrator, a Z-limiter, um, in blue in the bottom here, normal to the unipolar yellow. So uh, the top area, the generators, um, these are two um, very, um, very simple generators based on rise-fall approach. Um, so we can set a time for the rise and time for the fall. And that's it. Um, the, um, the, the main difference, the, the main thing uh, is that we uh, detached the two um, the wave shapes that can be used for each stage. So we have a selection of um, like a morph from logarithmic to linear to exponential for the rise. Maybe make it too short. And the same for the um, fall. Or like this. Uh, the other thing is that um, these wave, uh, wave, form, wave shapes that are used are detached from the um, actually the, the time. They are totally independent from the time. This means that um, if we want to use this thing as, uh, for example, let's use the second one as an oscillator, and let's put in loop the, the top one. We can change the, the wave shape changing the pitch. Um, it's even better to hear it in this way. So here it is. And then we can change the pitch. The other thing is that we can, um, each section works in um, tracks all per octave. So we have input, separate input for rise and fall. Um, where a positive signal increased the time, and we have a global input uh, which tracks one volt per octave um, that works in the opposite way. So every volt, uh, every volt we use, uh, we fed into, um, actually divide the times of each stage by two. So it's one octave uh, up, two, and so on. Um, for example, like this. Okay, no. Sorry, I'm on the other side. Uh, clock. Other things 
is the um, that we added are the um, like five outputs per each generator. So we have the end of rise and end of fall, uh, both available for each generator. There is a bipolar output for uh, LFOs or um, uh, when using it as an audio source or unipolar. And th there is also the attenuated output which it's its own attenuator. Uh, there is also a max function here which is useful when uh, um, the two envelopes are combined, for example, in quadrature mode. Uh, so in, in this way, in this way, um, at the end of the rise stage, this rise stage, um, rise stage is recalled, then the fall stage of the yellow, then the fall stage of the green. Um, and we can have the, the result of this, um, of the comparison of these two envelopes out from the max output, for example. Uh, basically, that's it. We also have a, a trigger for each of the generator and three modes, um, loop, transient, and sustained. So we can obtain LFOs or oscillators, single, single shot envelopes or um, attack hold uh, release envelopes.